Hey, everybody in the world. How are you doing? I really felt drawn to doing a live video because a lot of people don't understand what is going on in the world today. And it's really confusing. It's really stressful. It's overwhelming. And really what I want people to understand is that we have an amazing opportunity right now to go within, to discover who we are, and really get to know ourselves in a completely different way than we've ever known ourselves before. This work to go inside is, it's a lot of work, right? And not, and not very many people actually want to do the inside work. But when you do go inwards and take the time to get to know yourself, um, you start to awaken to something completely different that never existed before. And a lot of people are starting to wake up and discover who they truly are. But still, we're being swallowed up by everything that's going on in the outside world. And it's causing people to behave in in ways that they normally wouldn't behave. It causes them to do things, to say things, to react in different ways that they normally wouldn't, wouldn't behave. But it's all um, a defense mechanism. And because we are, we don't have the, we haven't found our new comfortable, uncomfortable, comfortable place if that makes sense to you. Um, everybody's still scattered around trying to figure out, like, like land in a place that feels good for them. Instead of being caught up in all of this, this fear and despair, which is increasing depression and anxiety and stress and the inability to cope. I'm hearing more and more people just aren't able to cope with the mounting stress and strain. And it's financial stress. It's all kinds of stress. It could be just feeling the weight of the energy that's out there in the world. So I want to help you to not get sucked into the abyss and give you some practical tools um, that will help you unplug from all of the fear and plug back into yourself and plug into things that actually make you feel good and help you raise the vibration. So because this is live right now, and if you have any questions for me, you can ask me questions. Go ahead and share out this video to anybody that you might think would benefit from hearing these tips from un, um, replugging yourself into something um, high vibing. And uh, go ahead, ask questions, and I'll try and answer the questions as I go along. So here we go. Tip number one is turn off the media. That is the news. That is any type of social media. Unplug from it. And here's why I say unplug from it. Not because we don't want to know what's going on in the world today because we can't escape what's going on in the world today. But here's the thing is that everything first. Well, first of all, if what you're plugging into in terms of what you're what you're watching in the in the news or what you're watching um, on social media, if it's not making you feel good and light and airy and and uplifting and inspiring, then it's not doing you a lick of good. Anything that you need to know, hi Rebecca, hi hun. Anything that you need to know in the world in terms of events. Trust me, you're going to hear about it at the time that you need to hear about it. And really, when you think about it, when you watch the news, do you not just hear the same thing over and over and over? It's almost like regurgitated information. Hi, honey. Hi, Kyle. 
it's like regurgitated information just said in a different way and, and body positions in, in a different way. It's the same information, right? But at the end of the day, if what you're absorbing isn't making you feel good and doesn't inspire you, turn it off. Turn it off, right? You don't need to be plugged into it. There's nothing that can dress, depress you more. Well, it depresses me. Um, scrolling two, two minutes, not even a minute, 30 seconds in a Facebook feed. And, you know, it's, it's depression sets in. It just doesn't make you feel good. So if what you're absorbing in terms of content in the media, any platform, isn't inspiring you, turn it off. Okay? Okay, so that is tip number one. Oh, we'll finish up tip number one. So you're going to unplug from that, but you're going to plug yourself into something creative instead. When you think about how much time you watch the news, how much time you spend scrolling through your social media feed, like think of the hours, right? Now imagine you took that time and you actually like plug that into something creative, painting, writing, creating music, um, dancing, whatever your creative expression is, that is going to be far more beneficial and healthier for you instead of watching things that don't make you feel good. Okay. So the idea here is you want to make sure you want to plug yourself into things that make you feel good instead of things that are going to bring you down. Okay. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, I made some notes here because if my, if you know me, like my kids know, know me, I can get off track and get, go down a completely different path here. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's great. You got me plugged into your ear at work. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> okay. So number two. Now I was having a conversation with somebody uh, the other day and we were talking about how difficult it is to escape the conversation, even though they didn't want to be part of the conversation. And of course, the conversation everybody seems to be talking about right now is everything that's going on in the world, right? So here is a really, really interesting thing, or this is actually tip number two, okay? So tip number two is excuse yourself from any and all conversations that don't light you up, that don't have you like filled up like a hot air balloon ready to take flight, okay? Excuse yourself from the, from the conversation. Tap into yourself. If you're not feeling it, if you're not, if you're getting anxious, if you're getting angry, whatever it happens to be, unplug yourself from that. Excuse yourself. And all you have to do is go, oh, geez, look at the time, you know, and I got to go. See you, bye, okay? That type of thing. But, I mean, you don't have to be brash about it or anything like that. But, you know, tune in to yourself. Check in. Like, if it's not feeling good for you, then, you know, say like, I got to go, I got to go. Or can we talk about something else? You know, we don't have to stay in the conversation if that's not the conversation that we have that you want to be having. Feel free to, to plug into a different conversation, change the topic, whatever that is. Okay. All right. So tip number three is get out in nature. I know. I've said it before, I've said it before, but you know, as the world is squeezing us, squeeze, squeeze, squeezing us um, into a way of being that we don't want to be as there's lockdowns after, if there's, you know, mandates that where you have to wear a mask, like whatever that thing is that makes you feel uncomfortable, Nature doesn't have those restrictions. Nature is the one place that you can go where you are completely free, except in your home. You can be completely free in your home as well. But tap into nature and actually feel the nature around you. So for example, if you go out for a hike, instead of arbitrarily walking around, hiking about in the forest, actually take the time to stand still in the nature, wherever the nature is for you, and listen to the wind, listen to the rain fall on, on down from the trees, listen to um, sounds that you hear around you, listen to 
the sounds of nature because when you tap into the sounds of nature, I tell you, it is the most calming and peaceful feeling that you will experience. There's probably other things, but it is really peaceful and calming. And it's like a meditation uh, into, into and of itself as well. So, you know, bring yourself into that place as much as you can. It's super important. And nature is super, super healing. Okay. Trust me on this one. Okay. So that is tip number three. Tip number four is gratitude. So somebody said to me the other day that it is really difficult to find gratitude when you are in the sinkhole. And that's true. That's really true. I've been in that sinkhole before. And honestly, I dip in my toe into that sinkhole from time to time. But I don't sit there. I don't, you know, have a have a swim in the sinkhole anymore. Okay. But gratitude is, you know, it's not just words that you speak. You know, I'm grateful for my family. We're all grateful for our family. And that's important. I'm not discounting that. I'm grateful for my girlfriend, my husband, my boyfriend, all of that. But it's that feeling. It's that feeling that you get when you tap into the gratitude. And sometimes when you're in that really, really low state, sometimes all you can figure out to be grateful for is the fact that you can brush your teeth, that you have a toothbrush, you can brush your teeth. And what that feels like to be able to have clean teeth. But there's all kinds of things, right? The fact that there the fact that we're breathing, the fact that we're alive. And I know a lot of people feel like they wish that they can check out now. And, you know, more and more people are suffering from mental health. And that's what this video is about, to help you step out of all of the things that are causing you to be in that low energy. And so gratitude is a really important piece. Be, you know, have gratitude for the fact that you are living, really, truly feel that. Have gratitude that you do have family around you, that there are people that really love and care about you. Sink yourself into that level of gratitude, okay? And I won't tell you to write a gratitude journal because, I mean, you can, but a gratitude journal has never helped me because I really want to feel into every single moment that I'm experiencing that gratitude and do more of it. And you can, that's something that you can do anytime, any day, whenever you're, you're aware of, of how you're feeling. Okay. So that's the gratitude piece. And here is tip number five, smile and wave at people. I was grocery shopping with one of my daughters and I had a little mini temper tantrum at the till. And the temper tantrum was about the fact that everybody was so effing grumpy and miserable. And I thought, you know, looking back on that situation right now, I probably could have been handled that more happily you know, with more grace, with more kindness, instead of having a little mini meltdown in my in my own little world about the grumpiness of everybody else. Instead, what I could have done is um, smiled more um, at the person who was checking us out, um, complimented him. It was a him that was checking us out, complimenting him, thanking him for being um, in a place that he probably didn't didn't want to be himself, right? And just smile more. And it just got me thinking that, you know, the world right now needs a whole lot more love. We don't need more negativity. We don't need um, more anger. We don't need to perpetuate um, more fears and you know, those, those types of things. So, you know, make a conscious effort to when you're walking down the street, this is what I did the other day, I went for a walk and I actually waved at everybody. I smiled and waved at everybody. 
even the people like there's lots of people wearing masks even when you go out and go hiking there's a lot of people that wear masks right but I still acknowledge and smile and wave and connect to people in that way I think it is so important and if you do wear a mask you know I you know, pull the mask down and actually smile, so show somebody a smile, because I think that we're missing that that connection with other people right now, that ability to connect, that ability to show love and show compassion and, and show support for each other's fears, doubts, insecurities, wondering what's going to happen, all of that uncertainty. What we need to do is raise the vibration. And when we pour love out, we it actually makes us feel good, right? Like if you help that that proverbial, you know, walking an old man or an old woman across the street or holding a door open, doesn't that make you feel good about yourself? Not because you want anything in exchange for it, just because it feels good to help other people. So although there might be restrictions on how close we're supposed to be to one another as strangers, we shouldn't fear other people. Other people are not our enemy. Other people have never been our enemy. It's just the fear perpetuates that state of being. But I'm really encouraging you to rise above that and start acknowledging other people. Start pulling the mask down and actually saying hi and actually smiling and actually waving and start to form connections in that way during this time. So this is not a time to live in fear. It's actually a time for us to, again, go inside, do some work, take a look at who we are, be able to speak up for, our for ourselves, stand in our truth, speak our truth, even if our voice shakes. That comes from Ralph Smart. I love that guy. If you don't know who he is, he's amazing. Check him out on YouTube. Or Instagram, he's here as well. So, you know, the more that we raise our inner vibration, it is going to help raise the vibration around us. We want to promote love, not fear. And I think that I would like to create a new hashtag. And the hashtag is going to be the love train. There's actually a song. I heard a song this week. It was the rolling credits from The Martian. And it is um, The Love Train by the OJs. So if I can, I'll, I'll leave a link um, to the video or anyways, Google it. It's, it's an awesome um, high vibe and songs from, I don't know, the 80s or something like that. So that those are my five tips. I hope that you um, found them helpful. If you feel that anybody can benefit from listening to this video, please go ahead and share it with them. Send me your send me your comments. Let me know how you're doing. And incidentally, when I ask you how you're doing, I really actually do mean how are you doing? I don't, you know, like I do care about how you're you're doing. So we're all in this together and we will all get through this together and thank you all for watching and I'm sending you so much love and we'll see you again soon how do I end it now now to end end